Levin Social Media Center in Midtown Manhattan. It's Facebook Live, brought to you by Raymore and Flanagan. Find it, feel it, furnish it fast. Hey everybody, good morning. So good to see you. I know it's been a while. I've been in and out. Uh, Dan's out today, but we got Anthony DiLorenzo in the house. Hey guys, good morning. Good to be here with you this good morning. Good to see you. It's been a lot so happening, busy. right? This week has been a roller coaster of so much breaking news. Now we've got the situation in Puerto Rico. I know a lot of you have been watching it very closely to see. We, you know, we had the governor there saying, "No, no, no. I'm digging my heels in. I am not going to resign. I'm going to not run for re-election, So that's the best you're going to get." And then after yesterday, there was word that he would resign yesterday. That didn't didn't happen he's resigning on friday of next week right right next um, friday but there is cheering on the streets can you believe he caved to this pressure and it's really a historic moment for the people of puerto rico yeah. and a lot of these people were really young people who are on the streets the and forefront of this, yeah right? making their voices heard it was kind of the millennials that got this going and if you think about how this decision came down how people learned about it they were glued to their phones because mm -hmm. uh, the governor made this announcement on facebook, facebook. Very interesting that he would do that, right? Did you have a backstory behind that? Because some people were saying that he was waiting because there was a security issue and whatnot. I, I don't know. Why wait a week? I don't know, but it was interesting that it was also taped. He didn't do it live. Right. So it was a very controlled setting that he was able to make this announcement. But finally, people got word on their cell phone that he ultimately was going to step down. And the streets of San Juan ultimately became Erupted. silent first, watching right. this 14-minute mm -hmm. clip. And then look, this is what happened in the moments after. Protesters in Puerto Rico erupted into cheers overnight, celebrating in San Juan and across the island. After 12 days of marching in the streets and clashing with police, their demands that Governor Ricardo Rosselló resign, forcing him to do just that reluctantly. After hearing the complaints, speaking to my family, thinking about my children, and in prayer, I've made the following decision. Today I announce that I will be resigning. Rosselló's about face comes after announcing Sunday that he would not seek re-election and would not step down. Controversy boiled over in Puerto Rico after investigative journalists published private chats exposing homophobic and misogynistic messages between the governor and his inner circle including suggesting violence against political opponents and jokes about Hurricane Maria victims. One of the targets, former New York City Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito. We're very excited about the new chapter and that it is the young people, it was women on the front lines of this movement saying that we want government and, uh, to be different. Still, in his final address, Rosselló maintained he's made the island a better place. I gave my all to the maximum dedicated day and night, weekends and holidays, to attend to each of the necessities of my people. No other government has accomplished the implementation of transformational changes that make Puerto Rico today a more equitable and just place. So we want to hear from you guys this morning. Do you have family in Puerto Rico? What are they saying? A lot of Puerto Ricans, of course, living here in New York City are reacting to this news this morning. People are really happy about it. Very happy. We spoke with uh, um, Viverito earlier today, former New York councilman, uh, councilwoman, I should say, and, and she was elated by it. We did ask her, so, you know, this leaves a bit of a vacuum because Wanda Vasquez, who is stepping up to fill that void once the governor resigns, uh, she's not particularly well liked on the island so you know asking Verita if she is going to run and she said no 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 I'm an advocate I am not a possible politician for governor so uh, setting that straight but uh, definitely want to hear from you because I think there's a lot of concern all right yes he's resigning he's stepping down but then how do we get this back on track? Wanda Vasquez, of course, she's kind of the equivalent to the attorney general mm -hmm. in Puerto Rico, and she was appointed uh, by the governor. So people don't want to see the same regime in power. Uh, they want to have a say in who ultimately uh, rises to the governorship next. So we can anticipate even more protests and demonstrations in the days to come. Yeah. In fact, there's more today here in New York, uh, one on Wall Street and then Union Square a little bit later on this Saturday, afternoon. Yeah. All right, let's get to your comments. Um, Snook Patty says people rose and the people spoke. Gladys Rodriguez, game over. Liz Torres, bravo. Um, let's see, Sam Medina, the rebirth of Puerto Rico. Uh, T. Marie, about time. There's so many of you chiming in. Um, let's see, Carmelo Robles, we won't give up. We won't back down. Um, the Let's see, what else? Uh, 
some government needs changing all around. Uh, sometimes these steps are necessary to rid corruption. That's from uh, Tamika Nyman. And there was talk of corruption as well. They were talking about possibly having to ultimately go to impeachment proceedings. Right. And something that you mentioned this morning, uh, there were some issues of possible corruption that they were going to look into yeah. uh, as that was happening. Yeah, because if you're looking at the, we showed the video right there of some of that exchange that was happening between Roseo, the governor, and his staff right there. You see the photos of those text messages. Um, I mean, a lot of it was really damning, and there's some concern as to the things that were said in there. Did they border or did they cross the line to being criminal? So there, there is some discussion as to what is in, in those details, and we'll see in the coming days. But uh, there's a lot to wade through. This is just one step, and granted, he, he doesn't leave office until Friday, but I imagine steps are being taken in the interim to try to get things in place. So there is some kind of stability, some kind of security as they hit this transitional period. And Gladys Rodriguez told us that her family's out in Puerto Rico right now. They're all partying. It's going to get better now for Puerto Rico. It'll take some time, but of course it'll get better. A lot of financial trouble that Puerto Rico has been in for mm. some time as well. Uh, and they're hoping that they'll get on better financial footing with this next regime too. Right, exactly. All right, we'll continue to follow that. In the meantime, we're going to switch gears because there was a bit of a mystery here. At, mystery meat. Yeah, that too. Um, on the street, in fact, uh, there was an In-N-Out burger. Now, if you're not familiar with In-N-Out, this oh, is God. A, Oof, such not. a popular so food good. chain, fast food chain, burger joint in, uh, on the West Coast. Right. A lot of folks in L.A. very familiar with it and fond of it. Well, there was a burger that was found on the streets. Yeah, just tossed out on the streets of Queens right there. Right but it looks perfect. It's all wrapped up, mm -hmm. uh, pretty packaged there. And I'm sure the uh, subway rat was probably uh, nearby <laughs> looking for Pizza it. Pizza rat was like, wait a second, I got the short end of the deal here. But here's the, okay, so we were wondering if maybe this was part of some kind of ad campaign by in out Burger. Gorilla marketing. Just, yeah, marketing campaign, trying to fly this burger here and give us some hint that maybe it's coming over to the East Coast. No such thing. We got to the bottom of it. Finally, some woman uh, was actually boarded a red eye mm -hmm. on JetBlue, and she was running off to what, a party, or was it a wedding or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so she went to in and out in um, on the West Coast and said, look, I got to get on a red eye. I got to get on a plane. So they packaged it all separately so it wouldn't get soggy. So the meat was in one place, you know, the pickles and onions and all that stuff. Wow, they really else. go all yeah, out. They, they, and so when she got on the plane, she assembled it. She ate one of them and then kept one with her. But then when she was rushing to catch a bus, the one that you saw on the street there fell out. And um, she has the receipts and she has, I think it's an Insta story of the whole timeline of it to prove that this indeed was her burger. So ridiculous. People have been captivated by the story, but there you have it. A happy ending. We, we, we really know what happened right? here with this wayward piece of meat. Now you can rest easy because I, I know you were staying up at night very worried right, about this, right. right? Anyway, thanks for joining us. A lot of topics that we covered here uh, from political to a little bit of fun. We appreciate you uh, joining us and tuning in and sharing your comments because that always matters to us here. So thanks for being with us. And thanks, Anthony, sure for joining Sure thing. Me. Yeah, we've got all these stories on our Pixel 11 app, so be sure to check up on that and keep up to date with the news of the day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good one. Furniture in the Pix11 Social Media Center is courtesy of Ray Moore.